Well, good morning, y'all. I'm out here trying to catch me a few more shad. I, I got something I want to try today. I've my last few trips I've come out here. I'm sure there's rain on the lens, but I'll get you guys cleaned off here in a minute. But that's but my last few trips, man, I've caught some. I've caught a couple flatheads, and I, I've caught the fever. I've caught the fever. I want to catch more flatheads. So we are going to mess around today with this. We're going to have just, it's going to be terrible conditions for fishing. Uh, yesterday they were rolling about 27,000 CFMs out of the dam. Today they're pushing 40. So we're going to have to find a, a lot more inside bins, uh, which I've got a few in mind. I know that uh, uh, we're going to go hit some spots that I've, have been uh, good flathead spots, known flathead spots in the past. So we're gonna fish some of those, but I want to run a combination of skipjack and shad today. I messed around with white bass the other day. I, I caught a flathead on it. And, uh, but I've also caught flatheads on shad. So I'm trying to find the mother load here, which I already saw through once. I, I did pretty good. I'm just trying to find it. They're all about the right size, and, and I'll show you how I'm going to rig them up. There's... Oh, yeah. Look at that. And providing they're all shed and not little catfish or whatever, we'll be all right. Oh, yeah. I really hope they're all shad. I did this one time and had a net full of about two inch channel cat. All right, that's exactly what I'm looking for right there. I don't want to catch too many. That's, that's too big of a school to try to mess with. All right, we got plenty of bait for today. Between that first net and this one, we are good. We got what I want. Get these in the bait cooler. Here, but that's all right. All right, y'all. Like I was saying earlier, when I was up there catching bait, I have caught I have caught the flathead fever, man. <clears throat> and so this is a stretch um, of river that uh, I mean I, I've I fished here before, but I've never targeted uh, isolated structure on this stretch. And so that's what we're gonna do. And I found a massive tree below me. It's a pretty good sized tree, so <clears throat> I'm going to definitely set up on that. <clears throat> so for bait, like I said, well you see me, I caught, I just caught me a few uh, skipjack, or I mean a few shad, because I want to, I want to run a little bit bigger pieces of bait out there. And I say bigger pieces of bait, but you know these things are not that huge, but. You know that's still a that's still a pretty good size morsel so i'm gonna run a couple of these uh, i still got some skipjack in here from the other day the shad that i found they weren't they weren't uh, the big ones like i was hoping for but that's all right these things they'll still work so i think i'll run what probably run oh, unless they got when I got up from yesterday. That's all right. They were mainly hitting heads the last trip out on a skipjack. So, I'm not sure. Well, we got some, I got some Mondo baits. 
Don't know if I want to put that big of a head out there. But... Yeah, either way, I guess it really doesn't matter. I'll drop a big one down there and see what happens. Because there's a big fish hanging out in that tree. He's going to... He'll come out for this for sure. And that's what I'm hoping for. I got... This is a new stretch of, it doesn't go very far, but it's a new stretch that we're going to try and hopefully get a get on one. And you see, I got the, I got the dang top on today. We, it's, it's terrible conditions. We got mist and spit and rain. We're going to have a little bit more rain come in today. But... That doesn't keep these fish from eating. That's a fact. If anything else, I'm hoping it actually turns them on a little bit more today. Put a piece of shad on this one. But the great thing about fishing on days like today, <laughs> I was the only one at the boat ramp. The only one. So, depending on how today goes, <clears throat> It's either going to be a good thing or I'll just be the only idiot out here not catching any fish. I think we'll do all right today. I really do. I just kind of, I just kind of feel it. I feel it. I think if we um, stay in these, stay in these inside bins. And stay out of that main current because like I said that yesterday they were rolling about 27,000 today they're rolling about 40,000 so that's a, that's a big jump right there already 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 <laughs> already they ain't even been out there I, I couldn't even get the rest of the rods in the water <laughs> oh god oh man already <laughs> that's awesome that is stinking awesome. I couldn't even, I couldn't even get my second rod in the water. <laughs> well, you can't beat a better start than this. I'm sorry. He's, he's not a monster, but still, that's some fast action up here in a spot that I, you know, I haven't really set up on like this before. He wanted that big chunk of skipjack. <laughs> oh man heck yeah let's say let's say we get the skunk off the boat in about probably one and a half minutes <laughs> that's awesome yeah let's get the skunk off the boat in one and a half minutes how, how do you think we're down there that long <laughs> Well, the skunk is off the boat, y'all. Heck yeah, buddy. I surely appreciate that. I like it when that happens. Thank you. Well, all right, y'all. We're going to move up. See if we can't find us another spot. That first fish real quick. It's a good looking tree down there. It just, you know, it is what it is. I don't know if they're not going to move today or... We just got to keep searching for them like we've like we've had to do so we're gonna reel in we get up our next spot we'll put on some fresh bait because i got plenty and we will try it again all right let's go fish a different stretch we've sat here long enough without even no bites so let's go find a We'll go to one of my known flathead spots, and we'll see what that turns out. Yeah, this one here, I don't know if it's just too much current on this little spot or not. But we'll go to a different spot. Like I said, it's a, I've caught flatheads off that stretch, and that's where I want to be anyway. All right, y'all. All right, so this is a spot we have caught good fish out of. 
we're kind of that water's down quite a bit more than it was last time we was here but I don't think it's really gonna matter much so anyway we're gonna get set up and all we're gonna do is we're just gonna like we did last time we're just gonna move back and fish all the stuff that we're gonna hop over to the other side where it goes around that point there and just fish all these inside bins trying to find structure see if we can't find some fish I just got a good feeling about today I, I don't know why but I just got a good feeling I think we're gonna get on something good today I really really do I got one messing with this head here Slow takedown, slow takedown. That's a flathead. That's a flathead, boys. And he's got, oh, and he just dropped it. Ah, I got too impatient. I got too impatient. Dang it, dang it, dang it. That was a flathead. I know for a fact that was a flathead. <laughs> I got too impatient. Yep, I got too impatient. I sure did. Dang it! <laughs> right, I come. All this work trying to catch a flathead, and then I get one to bite and I screw it up. <laughs> oh well. Well, I will say that will not be the first time that ever happens. <laughs> that was a uh, yeah. That was that big head. So let me uh, let me dig down here. I got another great big head. I don't know if I want to put that great big one out just yet. Get rid of some of this ice. I got this skipped out. I don't want to use them just yet. There we go. There's the head that I'm looking for. <laughs> oh, and I screw it up, man. Ah, oh, that's all right. He didn't feel nothing, so he might come back. That was a big head. It was bigger than this head anyway. That was a flathead sitting right in that tree, I'll guarantee it. Man, why did I just not wait? All I had to do was wait. That was a classic, classic flathead bite. Oop, 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 oop. There's a fish. There's a fish. <laughs> oh god. My umbrella didn't get the camera turned around. Uh, there you go. See so we got current, so I'm almost positive this is a blue. He ain't fighting. I don't know if he's down there twirling. He probably is. That's probably how small he is. Yeah, I can see him twirling. It's all right, though. It's action. I was actually getting ready to getting ready to move forward a little bit. Oh my God, well you done got yourself in it. In a mess, buddy. Yeah, you, you don't got yourself in a mess. <laughs> you are lassoed, tied up. I don't know how you did all that. <laughs> He's got the line wrapped around his face. <laughs> how did you manage that, buddy? You got all kinds of twisted up, didn't you? Oh, I see what happened. It just got wrapped around the hook while you were down there twisting. That's what happened. <laughs> yeah, you were. Come on, buddy. I'm trying to help you out here now. What are you doing? 
Then open your mouth. There we go. Yeah, he was all twisted, had that line wrapped around his face. Heck yeah, buddy. I appreciate it. It was getting to wonder where you guys are at. All right. And that was on a piece of skipjack, but we're still gonna move up a little bit. I wanted to move up right there where this little point comes down. So we're still gonna do that. First, outside of that, what I'm pretty sure was a flathead bite. That was the first bite we've had in 45 minutes, so. Get everything reeled in. See how much trash I got on the lines, cause it's down there for sure. All right, y'all, have me a squirrel moment. <laughs> We've been sitting here for a little bit. I was seeing something pushing bait up against the bank there. I ended up catching me 11 of these. Now there's two good things about this is one, I like eating these things, but the best part about it is now I've got 11 heads. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean these up. I'm gonna put the fillets in a bag. I'm gonna cut the heads off and we're gonna move down and find us a, we're gonna find us a flathead hole. All right, y'all, we at my, another one of my favorite spots. Again, it's uh, this here, we're on a, the upside of, the, of a point here. The point drops off this way and it's gonna create like a, like a current break. It's, we fished here before, so. But the only difference is, is now, I got me some white bass. <laughs> I am super excited about that. Like I said, up there, I had me a, had me a squirrel moment. <clears throat> Look at that, look at that head. I'm gonna, that, that's definitely going out. That's gonna go right behind the boat. I'm gonna put nothing but white bass on. I'm gonna do three heads and then a couple body chunks. Actually, I may do four heads. We'll give this a shot for a minute. I say a minute. Probably about 30 minutes, and we're going to go try to find us something else on the other side there. I love the way this spot sets up. Like I said, with any luck. I need to get, need to get another one and cut him up. I need some body chunks. Because if there is any flatheads laying on the back side of this point, we will pick him up. All right, let me get this big old head. I mean, look at the size of that head. <laughs> I probably should have, probably should double hook rig this one, but the fish that I'm after, he'll be able to slurp that up no problem. Something's eating that big head. Check it out. Something's on that big head, that great big white bass head. Look at him, look at him go. Look at him go. Okay, take it, 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 take it. <laughs> big white bass head, y'all. I got him too. <laughs> I got him. <laughs> on that great big huge white bass head that's a flathead for sure i think he's got me tangled up yeah he's got me tangled up unless that's another fish is that another fish yeah he's got me tangled up that's what he done on that big white bass head y'all <laughs> oh man so he picked it up must have went over well i had it pretty close together too 
Oh yeah. On that big white bass head. God dog. <laughs> He's It's a flathead for sure, y'all. Let me get y'all turned. It's a flathead for sure. I told you. I told you, man. If there was one here, we were gonna catch him on them white bass heads. Well, white bass anything. I guarantee you it's a flathead. I don't think he's a monster, but... I just knew it, I knew it, I knew it. They're just wanting something different, man. That's what they're wanting. I'm tired of chasing all these shad and stuff. They want some big baits there. It's, it, it is a flathead. It's a nice one, too. Look at him. Look at that beautiful fish. I knew it. I just knew it. All right. Well, then it sucks. <laughs> I knew it was. I'll take a tangled rod to get this dude. I just knew it. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Oh, come here. Come here. I mean, that big white bass hit. Oh, yeah, that's a good one there, boys. <laughs> big old yellow thing he is. <laughs> uh, I'll take a tangled rod. I don't, I don't care. This is awesome. And he done got me, a, he done got me tangled up in myself. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it, y'all. I just knew. Put that big old head out there. These, these fish are wanting something different. They are wanting something different. <laughs> oh, man, oh, man. I'll show you the bait here in a minute. I mean, I showed it to you once before, but that's a big old head. Let me, let me get him back out there real quick. He'll be all right. Let me get him back out there. I just knew it. If there was a flathead down there, he was going to hit one of these pieces of white bass. I'm telling you, like I said earlier in this video, I catch one of these dudes, that has made my day. Just look at that, look at that piece of white bass here. Oh, let me get your turn. God, dog, I tell you what, I'm a terrible cameraman. So look at that. Look at that big piece of bait right there. Look at him. <laughs> yes, sir. My whole goal today was to come out here and catch a dang flathead. By God, if I didn't do it. They are moving, boys. That is something I love to see. Look at the size of this dude. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. God, dog. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> oh, this is so awesome. I just knew it. God, I knew it. Okay, hang on. Let me get a picture of him. Come on, buddy. <laughs> oh, got this stupid top. Man, I tell you what, I hate this thing. Oh, this fish is... <laughs> he's 45 pounds, y'all. Look at that dude there. My Lord. All right, let's get him back in. Let's get him back in. Oh, thank you, sir. Oh, yes. Oh man, we searched and searched for that fish all day. Well, I say all day, most of the day. Whew, that was a heavy fish. He was real close to 50 pounds. 
<laughs> Yo, I'm gonna tell you. I, you know, I know that there's guys, some parts of the country, that's all they catch, you know. But they're also the same guys, if they got a chance to get on some blues, they'd feel the same way I do about these flatheads. I just flat love them. I love to chase, I love to fight, I love just, I love everything about them. I wish I'd catch more of them. Like I said today, that's, that was a target species. But, you know, I got them white bass because that shad and skipjack wasn't quite working. And I learned something the other day, I was out here fishing with white bass. <laughs> on that great big white bass head man that is something else only problem is now that i caught that fish i don't believe there'll be another one here but we're going to toss that head back out and we're going to see because ain't nothing wrong with that head a fish that size he pretty much dominates this little spot <clears throat> all right y'all <clears throat> So we're gonna give these fish about another 10 minutes. Uh, so yeah, we're set up on some structure again. Just, it's just structure. So I mean, same thing uh, that I've been fishing. Uh, just a different stretch of water here. And I didn't, I've been sitting here probably about 25 minutes and I ain't got a bite. Last spot I was up there, I didn't get a bite either. But you know, it, it just could be where the, you know, how the current hits this bank. I mean, there's a lot of different things, but you know, I mean, every spot that I stopped at, you know, not, not every one of them produce fish. And, you know, I'm not saying they won't at some point, because I'm sure they will. But <clears throat> but a couple of spots I stopped at did produce a couple of fish. Uh, well, we did catch some blues today, which I think I said earlier in the video, I wasn't really targeted blues. Uh, I'm trying to get on this flathead bite, because the last couple of years, man, I, I struggled with these flatheads, but I, I got it in my head this year. Um, to really target them and we got now until about oh well i i don't know months i'll just know by the, the fish and how i catch them but uh you know till about the time the the blues go in full spawn because uh, here the flatheads go on spawn after the blues do so once i know the, the blues are up spawning that's going to be another key time to catch them and then of course once the flatheads go to spawn i I don't mess with them because when they're up shallow, which I, you know, I typically don't go shallow anyway to find these fish because, you know, they're up spawning. So I'll wait till they come back out. But yeah, that that post spawn bite, that's and that, that's you know, same thing with the blues. That's going to be that's going to be the ticket. That's going to be when it's it's going to be pretty good. You got that till about oh, I'd say when it starts getting cold again. But. But like I said, the last few years, of course, you know, I've been, I was doing a lot of drag and I was, you know, really targeting the blues pretty heavy. And, uh, but I said this year, I'm going to target a lot more of these, I'm going to target flatheads a lot more. So that's going to be my plan going forward. I'm still going to fish for blues. I'm still going to drag boards. Um, but I'm just going to pick, you know, certain times when, when I kind of feel like the, the flatheads are going to be moving or I, you know, come across some spots and, you know, that I think would hold flatheads, which I do further that way. I'm uh, just it, like I said, I try to get out there, but the current is just it's just too much just a touch too much So I think once we finally get this river to where it calms down a little bit Then I'll be able to sit on them big spots and I, I, I found some pretty good homes uh, For these flatheads, so I can't wait to get on them. I tried to tried to I didn't really sit on them today I just kind of scanned them, make sure they were still there and they were so It's one thing I got to worry about on the river. You know, you find some good structure, you know good something it don't take much, you know, river comes up and it just blows it away, but but all in all, it was a great day. Like I said, if I caught one flathead today, I'd be happy. I really wish I wouldn't have screwed up this the bite that I had, the, the first bite on the flathead that I had. I just, I got impatient, but that happens, you know. I learned my lesson on the second one. I really let him, really let him take his time with it and ended up getting him, but... <clears throat> All in all, like I said, it was a good day. Good day for me. You know, I, I don't know as far as video worthy how it, you know, how y'all think about it. But for me to catch flathead like that, you know, and I've caught a flathead at every trip I've been out, I think for the last four or three or four trips. So that's pretty, that's pretty exciting. 
Um, but I've got, uh, like I said, I've got plenty more spots. I've got more spots that I've scanned down this way. I've got more spots that I've scanned off in Kentucky. Um, but I'm just trying to stay kind of close today because I wasn't real sure how this rain was going to end up being. But, but yeah, I really do appreciate you guys coming along with this one. And I really hope we can, I really hope we can get on some big flatheads this year. I really do. So I guess stay tuned and hopefully see what happens with that. But like always, I appreciate you watching this one, and I'll catch you on the next one.